So it has recently come to my attention that Star Wars Battlefront The Classic Collection was released 6 months ago. It has been 6 months since this absolute chaos mode of a game was released to us, the public. Oh my god, the hype was real. Let's dive in today at the details of how this game was an absolute disaster class and if you can actually still play it today. Are there still people playing this game? Let's find out together. Seduce me. You. Seduce me. What? Spy, I ain't gonna seduce me! So let's rewind ourselves. Just over six months ago, when this game was released, I myself, with thousands of other people, loaded on on midnight, March the 14th. We were hit with probably the worst release of any game that I have experienced in my lifetime. You could not get into servers with less than 400 ping. Each platform only had three servers that had 64 slots available, so a total of about 200 players per platform. Not to mention, there was no crossplay whatsoever. What they're thinking of that was, I have no idea why in this day and age and the price tag of 35 US dollars which is absolutely outrageous very quickly after the game came out Aspire released a patch note just to let everybody know that at launch they experienced critical errors with the network infrastructure the result was incredibly high ping matchmaking errors crashes to the games themselves and servers not appearing in the browser. They then went on to say that they were going to sort all of these issues and they would get back to us as soon as possible. It then took them four days to get these issues sorted and released to our games but by that point so many people and I mean thousands and thousands of people had fully refunded this game, stopped playing in general and the hate was unreal. We will get onto the reviews later on in the video but oh my god. Just a quick side note there are timestamps in the video and in the description down below to let you know each individual part of the video if you want to skip to any part in particular and also while you're here if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel that would be really really appreciated. So with the initial release of this game Aspire absolutely hit the nail on the head and pulled on our nostalgia strings every single one of us me included because they made this massive announcement that this game was going to have 64 online multiplayer with full servers the amazing story and campaigns the conquest modes all coming back to us it was going to be amazing. I was so excited. The original Battlefront 1 and 2 were mainly remembered because of the Heroes mode, Space Battles and the Episode 3 maps which I think were absolutely incredible. Both games were pretty simple when you look at it but it was the simplicity that made them so so fun. There was no such thing as microtransactions back then or pay to win or anything like that. You weren't one of the big name heroes all the time like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader but just a regular rank and file shooter on the ground other than the droidikas and the shotgunners which were absolutely OP as hell. I still still hold really really good memories of this game. To be fair, I played the hell out of BF2's conquest mode with my older brother almost every single day. We played on split screen on a tiny little 17 inch monitor. Looking back at it now, it was totally unplayable, but it was those core memories that caught us all off guard with the nostalgia. If you made it this far into the video, if you could leave a comment down below that says dead game, that'd be much appreciated just to let me know that you're still watching the video. So here we are, the best part of the video in my opinion, the reviews. The Steam community have all come together to give this game mostly negative reviews since release. But let's go through them. I'll go a couple of positives, a couple of negatives. But it's just like these guys saying here. So the people I'm recommended are basically the people who just say, I get people are frustrated with the online issues. But coming from someone who had the originals as well, this game is definitely an improvement. I do kind of agree on this. But at the same time, they promised us 64 player massive online shooters. And what did we get? Absolutely none of that. They basically lied to us to get money out of us. That's basically all it was. Comments like these, I totally agree with. With. The game has released buggy and is now dead. Please don't waste your money on this. Steam deny my refund because I played it too long. It's kind of this guy's own fault to be honest. It is a bit better now but far too little too late which I agree with as well. The game right now is actually kind of playable. You can play it. I'll get to that in a second but there's basically no one playing it anymore. Abandoned by devs. Servers are empty. Only get it on sale if you want to play on the Steam Deck since this works better than the original controller. That is actually true. I don't have a Steam Deck myself but I know for a fact it works very well on the Steam Deck and the Switch. Those are the two best places to play this game. The game is overpriced and fixed too late. I'll be avoiding future Aspire games due to how badly they launched this. I agree with that. 
very, very much. So like we've done before, the player counts. Let's see how many people are playing this game right now. So it is four o'clock on a Monday afternoon. So we're kind of just before the peak game time, but there should still be some people playing this game. Let's have a look. Battlefront 1, let's go into it right now. So multiplayer, let's go in, join. I don't even know how many people are gonna be playing this game. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I knew it was gonna be low, but one player. One player on Battlefront 1. I do think Battlefront 2 is the more popular game, so let's try that right now. Multiplayer, search, any game modes. Let's have a look right here. There are two people there, one person there. So yeah, not really much better. Oh, there's one more down there. So yeah, not really much better to be honest. And as you can see on the right hand side, for some reason my connection is terrible. It's the same on Battlefront 1 as well. Since I've been playing this the last couple of weeks, I've realized the connection has been pretty bad. It's not very noticeable, but here and there you can see that there's actually really laggy parts. So moving over to Steam, which we can see every single player offline and online, there are currently 18 people playing this game with a 24 hour peak of 40. That is atrocious. 18 people playing it right now in the whole entire world on PC. Comparing it to the hundreds of people who play the original Battlefront 2 and the new EA Battlefront 2, that is outrageously bad. So is this game still worth purchasing even today, six months later after the game has officially died? If you want to play offline, it works absolutely fine. It looks better than the old versions, so I would say yes, to be honest. If you want to play online, you will only get select servers that will have people playing them. But there is actually a way that we can all play this together, me included. I can play with everybody watching this video as well. I recently met somebody on this game who sent me a link to a Reddit site where there are over a thousand people on it who all play this game, who have discussions, talk about the game and even a discord server where we can all get involved and have a laugh and play this game together. All links in the description, come join it, play with me, everyone play together, it's going to be fun as hell. So what does the future hold for this absolute mess of a so called video game? Well, to be honest, I don't know, if we can get this discord server up and running that would be sick, we can have multiple people playing it, we might even be able to revive this game ourselves. But from Aspire's point of view, I think they've completely done and dusted with this game, it's in quite a a good current state to be fair. The servers are pretty stable, it's just that barely anybody plays this anymore. There's been two months since the last update, but to be honest there's not really a lot they can do with this game anymore. It was in a finished state of the originals, and when I've come back and played this, I've recorded these games today, I've had a lot of fun. I really have quite enjoyed myself. Please do let me know down in the comments section down below, what do you think of this game? Do you still play it? And if you do, what platform do you actually play it on yourself? I personally play it on PS5, but I know a lot of people play this on the switch so i'm curious to know let me know and also if you manage to make it this far in the video right till the end please let me know by saying dead game 2 as well just to let me know thank you very much for watching leave a comment down below i reply to every single one of the comments that i get on my channel thank you very much for watching and goodbye